Yun, congratulations. Hello mga Raji. Uh, welcome back to our channel. Ako po ang inyong kuya Raji dahil uh, absent si... <laughs> ang inyong ate ka G uh, bali today um, I will be talking about yung mga bagay na dapat yung alamin kapag uh, pupunta kayo dito sa Kuwait para magtrabaho so yun, um, basic pero uh, you have to know and you need to know kasi uh, yun yung magiging guide nyo sa inyong uh, magiging career dito sa Kuwait okay, so let's check it out Ayun, so, uh, bali, uh, once you enter uh, Kuwait, meron silang uh, three types of uh, visa. Okay? Meron tayong, ah, hindi, apat pala. Apat. Okay? So, una, mali yung focus ko. Dito ba? Titingin. Okay. Uh, una, um, meron tayong tinatawag na visa 14. Yung visa 14 is yung commercial visit visa okay and yun yung for a specific period of time lang na nandito I think maximum na binibigay nila is 3 months for commercial visit meron din tayong family visit pero uh, yung duration I'm not really sure kung gano katagal okay second type is visa 17 which is yung kapag natatrabaho ka sa government or sa ministries dito visa 18 if you're on a private company and uh, visa 20 kapag uh, ikaw ay nagtatrabaho sa loob ng bahay so maraming mga kabayan natin uh, nagtatrabaho sa bahay dito so under visa 20 sila and yung mga professionals yung mga nagtatrabaho sa restaurants and the rest of the professions uh, mostly visa 18 and yung iba nating mga healthcare workers mga nurses na nasa ministry they are under visa 17 okay so yun uh, pumasa ka na uh, ang gagawin mo is uh, syempre may ticket yan halimbawa punta dito uh, once you reach your work merong mga orientations or whatever uh, depending on what type of visas you have uh, merong kang mga karapatan uh, which you need to know that under visa 20 kapag sa bahay ka nagtatrabaho halimbawa I think um, in impose na nila if I'm not mistaken yung uh, mandatory day off kapag uh, I think once a month I'm not so sure about that kasi hindi ako masyadong familiar sa visa 20 but if you're uh, visa 18 kung saan nandun ako naka ano naka dun ako naka visa under a private company here um, you have uh, few things na dapat mo tandaan first um, una meron kang tinatawag na uh, health insurance part yun, pag nagkaroon ka ng visa dito meron kang health insurance sa ministry nila okay? so uh, every month or every time you visit uh, you need to pay 2 KD and yung medications mo is free okay? uh, pero pag yung mga med at saka yung mga maintenance I think it's free din okay? and um, kapag uh, halimbawa in case naman na uh, uh, na kondawo ito na admit ka sa hospital uh, meron din silang uh, babayaran mo lang sa kanila is minimal I mean, yung room fees nila meron na ngayon uh, laboratories meron na ring charges but before kasi when I joined Kuwait back in 2010 um, lahat libre pa but recently uh, they changed their uh, policies so meron ka ng specific portion na binabayaran doon but still, if you will compare it sa ibang uh, healthcare facilities sa ibang bansa, it's still uh, mura pa rin siya. Okay? Um, second, bukod sa healthcare mo, uh, you're entitled also sa isang day off. And uh, labor law nila dito states that um, may entitled ka rin sa indemnity kapag 3 years ka na nag-work sa isang company. Okay? And indemnity means yun yung end of service benefits mo. Also, if you're on the contract dyan sa Pinas, um, dyan ka direct galing, um, you will be required to work for your company at least 3 years 
okay and after three years um, you will be free to join other companies kung ayaw mo na sa company mo or if not you can extend your contract to them most of the Filipinos naman dito uh, they tend to stay sa current company nila but still yung pa company hindi pinapayagang umalis ng bawa uh, hindi mo na gusto niya para malakan nila you want to resign uh, you can do that after three years and it is your right to ask them permission to transfer your residency to other companies naman okay now we will not go down deep sa mga details but ayun uh, you need to know na three years ang ano mo initial contract in case uh, you want to change profession or whatever then that's fine but after three years kapag galing ka diretso sa Pinas okay I mean galing ka direkta sa Pinas uh, thirdly um, meron ka halimbawa babae ka nagkaroon na nabuntis ka dito andito yung asawa mo and you gave birth um, karapatan mo din na magkaroon ng uh, paid maternity leave which is equal to uh, 70 days 70 days okay na uh, bayad yon ng company and uh, yon and after that kapag bumalik sa trabaho um, during your first day since meron kang bagong baby you will only be required to work for six hours okay the remaining two hours will be paid still by the company but uh, uh, buo pa rin yung sahod mo I mean but you just need to work for six hours for the next six months kasi may naga na alagaan ka pa ang baby and of course syempre kailangan mo alagaan yung anak mo so yun karapatan mo yun bilang isang nanay and finally in addition um, meron sila ditong every year around 13 public holidays okay you're entitled to uh, be off during those days otherwise if your work requires you to work during those days um, you should be paid doubled okay parang sa atin din uh, holiday pay plus an extra off for that extra credit to be added to your annual leave yun congratulations uh, welcome to Kuwait ang bansa kung saan may pinakamataas na currency sa buong mundo so yun uh, amazed ka uh, you will, I'm actually was shocked nung una kong malaman na ganun pala yung palitan dito well anyway um, it's a country uh, in the Middle East na alam mo yun syempre Muslim uh, meron silang mga sariling customs na sinusunod and of course Middle East medyo mainit but still uh, I do hope na i-enjoy mo yung trabaho mo dito to help further your family needs okay so yun yun lang yung mga basic na dapat mong alamin siguro while you're new uh, as you go along the way pag nandito ka na uh, you can probably read in details uh, ang basihan ng kanilang mga rulings dito is written sa Kuwait Labor Law okay parang yun yung pinakadole natin dyan sa Pinas uh, meron silang Kuwait Labor Law na tinatawag uh, which uh, parang specifies kung ano yung mga conditions na dapat mong nakita sa pagtatrabaho mo dito so there that's it uh, yan muna for now okay uh, happy to see you once again dito sa channel natin and uh, if you happen to like this video don't forget to hit like share and subscribe okay once again ito po ang inyong kuya lagi Nathan kita kids